another apartment at Glenwood Houses. Another apartment. What's today? October the 8th. My son is like, mm -hmm. he's had enough. Your son? Yeah. That's your older son? Mm -mm, my older son is in the Air Force. He's a staff sergeant. Okay, that's nice. So he's, this is supposed to be where the kitchen, no, the kitchen's supposed to be over kitchen. here. This is kind of like a foyer area, but you can make it into a dining area if you want as well. Yeah, that's the kitchen. That's a lot of... Can't even go inside there to see. The kitchen is small compared to the ones that we've seen in this development. Maybe because it's that is pretty much the same size. Well, it was pretty big. You saw a kitchen that was bigger? Yeah. Maybe because of the There's a living room. They don't look like they was moved on. They look like they was thrown out. All well, these bags and stuff they left here. They look like they was. This was a lot of stuff to leave. Let me see. So maintenance is here doing their doing their work in the bathroom. I just knew nothing. Does, I'm really not surprised. This is a bedroom. This is a little closet. Right, Jacob, the other apartment was a little bigger, right? Mm -hmm. It was, right? Yeah. It's hot. It's hot. It's in here. She, 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 uh, whoever. <laughs> Oh, due to the COVID? Due to the moratorium that's in place. Okay. Yeah, so we're not doing any type of legal action against anyone. Right. Yeah. My whole issue is, mm -hmm. for me, again, with the reasonable accommodation transfer, mm -hmm. that's for me to be, it's for me to be closer to my doctor. Okay. So my thing is, mm -hmm. by the time this is finished, mm -hmm. because I can't even move into an apartment where there's mold. I cannot move into a apartment where there's mold, even if there's mold behind the walls. Mm -hmm. If there's mold in here at any point, mm -hmm. by the end of the day, my nose will bleed. Mm -hmm. Or I'll catch a major headache. It's, it's a given. It's a given. And that's a whole nother issue because then there's going to be an abatement. and all. <sighs> this is, 
my expectation was to see an apartment that's moving ready for me to just go right in and continue with my physical therapy and I mean, so sometimes forth. Sometimes the apartment is ready depending on how long the previous uh, residents moved out, but after this one. That's, this is what annoys me because ready, you know? with the apartments that I've transferred from, mm -hmm. the resident can move in right the next day mm -hmm. or the same day. All I, two apartments. I left. One was at 2041 Pacific Street, and the other one was at 6... 2041, that's downtown? No, 2041 is on um, Atlantic Avenue in Brooklyn. Okay, okay. Yeah, so between that apartment and the apartment that I transferred out of because it was mold infiltrated, which was a 607 unit um, mm -hmm. building, brand new. I cleaned and mopped everything before I left. It's things like this that... It delays. I can't. I, by the time this is done, I won't need a reasonable accommodation. So you're not going to accept the apartment, or I, I can't. I need an. I need a moving ready. Already, okay. By the time this is done, I'm not going to need. I'm not going to need no reasonable accommodation. Oh. Sorry. It's, by the time this is done, I'm not going to need it. This is ridiculous. The more I keep looking at this. I mean, I can't even give you a tentative date. See, it's right. That's the thing. And that's, you know, I wish I was able to say, you know, what well, Miss Collins is going to be ready, ready in two weeks. And that's I the thing. And, you know, and I'm not going to lie to anyone. And right. make it seem like, right. this, yeah. something else, like that's not and, the thing. And, yeah, so because once once it's ready, they also have to do the um, lead clearance. Right. And that's the thing. As far as getting it ready, it might not take that long, being that they're out here working on it already. Uh -huh. But we also have to wait on the um, the lead clearance as well. You see that that right there is. So that's the thing. But mm -hmm. what I can say is, once it's ready, but the apartment looks good. I'll say it looks good from the outside. No, but from, no, from the, when you come inside, once it's ready, it looks good. It looks good, but mm -hmm. based upon my experience, mm -hmm. this underlining issue, just like near this, all right, for example, right here, this wall, mm -hmm. you see this wall right here? Mm -hmm. You see? Right. There's a situation, there's always situations behind these walls. These mm -hmm. walls, look at this, the chip paint here, yeah, they're going to take that off, but then it's, it's, going to be an, it's going to be an issue. These walls, you, the only way you would know what's really going on is if you go behind these walls. These, behind these walls have its own story. Yeah, I don't know if they're going to tear So it looks down. good. It's going to look presentable, but at the same time. Mm -hmm. you're, you're worrying if it might be some underlying issue. There's going to be some underlying issue. Because this apartment looks like a couple of tickets were put in. <laughs> I'm looking at the piping. I'm looking at around the, uh, around the uh, the tub. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's that's mold. That's mold. I'm sure with this tub, mm -hmm. if you remove this, mm -hmm. no tub enclosure. It's black. It's black mold back there. Mm -hmm. And you're, um, I've seen it. I yeah. mean, I'm looking at this, mm -hmm. the sink. I mean, along. I mean, I'm, at least at. If you look at the tile on the floor here, between the walls and the tile, and you're probably saying, me, I'm the daughter of a, of, of a carpenter. Mm -hmm. he, my father was a master carpenter. Yeah. So there's certain things that I see that another person... You're, you're already knowledgeable. I, really, I would know. Mm -hmm. So I, I, can, I can tell anyone who moves into this apartment, after a while they're going to be putting in tickets. <laughs> Unless they just don't care. So, um, you need it on the wall, Jacob? You should be. I don't want to know as far as management whether you're going to accept the apartment or not. Well, they're just going to have to give me that form to fill out. So, and for I'll, the refusal? Yeah, okay. and I'll explain why. I mean, you have choices, you know? At yeah. At the end of the day, you have choices. Just be careful because there's nails. Yeah, I know there's floor, protruding so nails. Be and careful. No, I'm talking on the floor. It's nails, so 
just be careful when you're walking. Because there's one right here. Right, it's just sticking all over the place. So. Okay, well, in regards to reasonable accommodation, mm -hmm. I don't, I'm just not getting it. I'm not getting it. I'm looking. This is like over the front door. Yeah. All right. Okay, so for me, it doesn't even make any sense. It doesn't even make any sense. The whole waiting process, mm -hmm. I, I don't know. There are apartments out there that are moving ready. They, they're there. But how it works with the, you know, like I said, sometimes, you know, you come to, to view an apartment for the first time. It's not some, at times it can be ready, but right now the, you know, this available apartment is no. not ready in the moment. Because according to the several managements that I've spoken to per development, they told me that the those apartments that are moving ready are for DHS. A lot of times, yes, with DHS. DHS, they get them. They get um, them first. But the thing is with the DHS, um, they are approved for the development, but they don't get the apartment right away. Sometimes they wait months before they even move in. So when it's finally time for them to do the rental, it's ready. So it's not a matter of, okay, we call you this week and then you're coming in next week for a ready apartment. They will get a letter stating that you're approved for, you know, a two-room apartment at Glenwood, but then they're waiting another four, five, six months before they can even move in. I don't know. This is this. Yeah. What is with the orange color with people with this orange? I don't get it. <laughs> it's like the fourth apartment that I saw with this orange paint. Mm -hmm. Right, Jacob? It's kind of tacky. Yeah, like what's with the orange? Am I lying? Am I lying, Jacob? No, right? Mm -hmm. It's with the orange. I mean... I don't like the color either, but you know, different I mean, different orange and, and, and then one of them was purple. I don't get it. Okay. <laughs> This is Miss Tall like it is, 48 to tea. Spilling the Glenwood houses. Glenwood houses tea. <laughs> okay.